Carmen City is better shaped financially than some of our neighbors. And uh, so, like, so let's just talk about this um, a little bit here. Um, some of the concerns that have come up, even though we are in financially good shape, would be like um, Buffalo Run Golf Course. Would that ever go away? Well, let me, let me answer the first part of that okay. in, in the form of why we're in better shape than others. So um, when you look at the surrounding jurisdictions, a lot of them are doing pretty good. Um, but a lot of them are dependent on sales tax. So as the economy has gone down, sales tax has gone down, and so have they. And, and so they're, they're struggling. And, and so when you have a large organizations, for example, like Aurora, they um, have a very large organization. So they, when they are hit significantly with uh, sales tax impacts, they may actually have to look at cutting people. Um, and I know, I know Ron Miller and I know the mayor over there very well, and I know that that is an absolute last resort with them. Um, it's a last resort with me, and uh, I have told staff that uh, I will not look at furloughs, I will not look at uh, layoffs. If, if they see that, um, I will fully explain that to them, but also they will know that we have done absolutely everything possible uh, before that point. And, um, we're, we're talking about people's lives, and uh, I look at that and take that very seriously. So um, our, our economy is based more on uh, the industry, and, and so when you look at the sizable amount of industry we have in the south part of the city and along I-76 running north, um, it's very uh, evident to me that, that that base has allowed us to keep a more level uh, budget. Now. To say that we are uh, f uh, flush with uh, capital is probably not correct. We've had a budget gap. We had a budget gap. Uh, we have a budget gap that we've filled for this year in 09. We have a budget gap for 10 that we're looking to fill, and I'm very confident that we will fill it. But in the meantime, staff within uh, the different organizations and departments in this city have had to cinch the belt to a point of strangulation. And uh, they have they've really tightened it up and they've come up with some great innovative ideas and I've relayed those to council um, over the last two weeks. But um, it, 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 the, um, I guess the necessity is the mother of invention while it's also the mother of innovation. So we've actually had to look at um, how we do business. And so that is only a benefit to the taxpayers that are, are in the city. And so we look at doing that without cutting levels of service. Now will that always be the case? I can't promise that because there are, there are things that are um, uh, outside external uh, variables that affect us. And so as the economy goes, we hopefully will be looking at a better and brighter budget next year. So um, getting back to your question in regard to Buffalo Run, um, that was an unfortunate uh, circumstance, I believe, that um, uh, an article was, was written in regard to uh, a report that was presented to council. And the sensationalized parts of that report uh, were taken out of context and then put into an article that really, uh, I think, caused the city damage. And um, I believe that people in the community out there, I uh, have, have felt that, you know, the, uh, the Buffalo Run was in some type of uh, jeopardy of, of shutting down and be turned into open space. Well, in my position and with staff, you show and present all of the opportunities of what can happen to um, any scenario that you're presenting to council. So, what you do is you, you, you basically set the parameters of the possibilities. And so it, it, it illustrates to everyone, uh, and obviously, uh, things that are not on the table. So open space, not on the table. That's, 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 but that's a possibility. Um, is it going to happen? No. And I would never recommend that. Um, but it's, it's a variable that, that we paint the picture. So. Some might want to gravitate to it because they think it's, it's uh, sensationalized. Um, <clears throat> the fact is, is the Buffalo Run Golf Course is an internal issue. It's, it's, 
it's internal. It's it's not as if we owe millions of dollars to a bank that has been shut down or the collectors are after us somehow. It, it, it was a loan that the city paid off, that the city itself, through uh, its financial means, looked at the golf course as paying back. And the golf course is a separate fund. The golf course is uh, enterprise fund. And so enterprise fund means that it, it can generate a, a profit. But um, that profit usually goes back into maintain, maintaining the golf course, buying new fleet, uh, improving uh, different drainage you know, projects and patterns on the golf course. So uh, there's a lot of things that, that go into that. But uh, first and foremost, they were supposed to pay back the debt that we bought. So um, internally, the debate is, you know, should we forgive it? Should we uh, structure it so it's over a, a time and then forgive it over time? Or should we just say, here's a minimal level that we know that you can generate and then we'll build up an account for your other capital improvements? And so it's, you know, potentially 50,000 for 60 years, 80 years, whatever that number is, I think it's significantly high number of years. But it, it, it basically says, excuse me, here's a loan, it's being repaid. Um, so in that case, um, that's the discussion and that's what we'll come to council with. Um, in regard to it shutting down and in regard to it being a disrepair, uh, it is a, as, as Councilman Johnson mentioned, a jewel. It is absolutely a jewel and um, it is in great shape. Um, is it in the best shape? Well, I don't know if anybody would ever say it's in the 100% best shape because you're always wanting to improve. Um, but it is absolutely in, in good condition and it's not going anywhere. And it's also, um, could you say it, it is a, a public relations piece or a, a, a marketing piece for, for the city? It is not only a public re relations, it's, it's marketing, it's economic development, it's, it's a number of things. Um, there are meetings that are scheduled out there uh, constantly uh, in, in, uh, in the restaurant. Um, there are uh, golf games. Uh, presented to different companies that um, we encourage them to come out and play. Uh, if we can, we'll, uh, we'll try to get individuals from the city to play with them and uh, really kind of market it and market the city. So it is absolutely a tool that we use to benefit the city and its residents. And um, you know, when, when you look at uh, companies that come out and play, they are Fortune 500, they are restaurants, they are grocery stores. They are a number of people that, that have interests in looking at coming to Commerce City as the economy recovers.